Welcome back, guys, into more Red Dead Redemption 2. So I traveled uh, back to the camp here. Now, before we start this part, I kind of... I've been thinking about this game a lot in my free time and kind of just everything that's uh, that's kind of happened so far, man. And I've just... I don't know, man. This is just me speculating, but uh, I don't see with everything that the gang has done and everything that uh, we've gotten into, all the trouble we've gotten into especially, I do not see how this could end well for anybody, to be honest, in the gang. I mean, we just keep running from place to place. Eventually, Agent Milton and them, you gotta think they're gonna find us eventually, I would think. But, uh, I've just been doing a lot of thinking about this game and everything we've done, and yeah, I do not think that uh, it's going to end well for the gang. Now, this is just me speculating here. Mary, when we went on the date with Mary, she told Arthur to kind of, you know, maybe leave the gang and everything like that. So, I'm thinking maybe right now it would be in Arthur's best interest, honestly, to probably get out of this and go with Mary I don't know that's going to happen. I kind of want him to, to be completely honest, because as much as I love the gang and everything, I just, I don't know, man. I do not see <laughs> how this can end well for anybody. Of course, I'm hoping that it does, but honestly, I am hoping that uh, Arthur finds a way to kind of get out of this before, you know, it's too late for everyone involved. That's just me speculating. I don't want anyone to, like, confirm or deny my suspicions or anything like that i just i had a few things on my mind that uh, i definitely had to get out before we start this part now since i am at camp there are a few things since i got here that did pop up we got a few like uh a few looks like some side missions i think there's a stagecoach robbery or something like that with micah over here i saw and then i see this little thing on my map i don't know what it is bro but what is this Arthur, get over here. Oh, Lord, is this uncle, bro? Go rustling. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? <laughs> I don't know. Small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he just walks right through the horse, you know? <laughs> okay, let's mount up. So yeah, if you guys missed the last part too, I actually went back to Valentine and I got this so dude. Where's Look at this, this thing. It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. Just past the road's turn off. Yeah, I got the uh, the Dutch hey. warm blood horse. Thanks to your guys' recommendations. And I gotta say, I do really like it, man. So you know? How did you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon and roads a bit. Oh, roads? yeah. Of yeah, course he has. The barkeep there <laughs> gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around roads after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that it ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wow. wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. 
What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> well, that's how I'm gonna see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. We're gonna cut up this way. This is actually kind of cool. I don't remember if I've actually ever went like on a mission just with Uncle, to be honest. <laughs> you know, we're usually with like three All other right. guys, but let's get up there on foot from here. It's actually kind of nice to get to know Uncle a little more. Come, on, let's take a closer look. All right, where are these cows he's talking about, though? Oh, shit. Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Oh, boy. I do not really want to follow oh, Uncle's plans. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, Hold on. Are they here to do the same thing we're Watch here to do? Ass. That's a metaphor. <laughs> You're oh, boy. Son of a bitch. That ain't one. Now, now, now get back to look now. Maybe I shouldn't get and those out yet. Up. So, what now? So, I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ, I'll take care of him. How are we going to take care of him? Deal with the rustlers. Hold on. We got some throwing knives. I might actually want to use some of these. It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are going to wake him up. Oh, oh. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, this here is a rusty padlock. Hurry. Turn around. Shit. And put your hands up in the air. What are you doing, boys? Nothing. You know, <laughs> we kill rustlers around these parts. Well, now, just wait. I'll give you till the count of five to get the hell out of here. One. Two. Let's go. Three. Four. Yeah. All right, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> I thought maybe I was going to have to kill him. That's why I got the throwing knives out, but I guess we could just intimidate him just as easy. Shoot the padlock. Hold on a minute here. You better break the padlock. Padlock. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't going to wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him <laughs> out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Go, go! Get on out of here, boys. Boys are free. Keep moving. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Move. Welcome to the uh, the farming uh, simulator. Come on. Is that all of them? I think it is. Wow, that was actually pretty easy. Now, how are we gonna keep them in a herd, though? Is my question. I'm guessing it's going to be kind of like the uh, the sheep thing. Move it up. All right, come here, buddy. Right, I guess we just follow him. What the what the hell? I'm being robbed. Oh boy. Damn you, goddamn robbers. Come. Shit. <laughs> he knocked himself out. <laughs> Well, alrighty then. <laughs> I guess we don't have to deal with that guy. Yeah. Come on, buddy. No one wants to be the last one in the pack. You gotta get up there, buddy. Get up there with your little uh, with your little friends. Where in the world am I even taking Whoa, these things? Let's go. <laughs> Yo, this is insane, bro. I swear to goodness, Uncle, if we don't get paid a solid amount for this. Hold on, we need to touch up where we're going here. 
right, I guess maybe this isn't the right way. We got to turn them around a little bit. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Now we're going the right way, boys. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I like how I'm doing all the work. I mean, Uncle isn't doing anything. Oh, this is actually uh this is actually going pretty smoothly. I can't complain right now. <laughs> Move it. Slow down. How far away are we taking these things? <laughs> oh my lord, bro. Suddenly, I just crave some Chick-fil-A, I gotta be honest. <laughs> That's all these cows are missing, just a sign that says, eat more chicken, you know? I think it's actually kind of funny that we weren't the, uh, the only people... Oh my lord, I'm so sorry, fella. There we go. I actually think it's funny that we weren't like the only people there to uh, to rob these cows. <laughs> Look at that! Everybody, get in there! Oh, we're dealing with these guys again, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. These guys are some cheap skates. There's still one missing, or did we get them all? There we go. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> this is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move them right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. <laughs> well, I pay your friend here. Mm. <clears throat> I still feel like we got wow. hoes. Be careful out there. I gotta this be is honest. Nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thanks for oh, the help boy. The All we got was 60 bucks, bro. That's insane. Girl. And you know damn well Uncle ain't putting anything in that pot, bro. No chance. All right, we're going to head back to camp, actually, because there are other things to do down there. And one thing I really need to do right now is... uh. Get my cores up, man. I need to eat some of the stew. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track, but I think it has been a minute since I ate, to be completely honest with you. But we got a main mission down there that has to do with Sadie Adler. I really like Sadie Adler, honestly. She's one of my favorites in the uh, in the camp. And then we got a stagecoach with Micah as well, which, uh, I mean, you know how that goes, boys. Micah's uh, missions are always some of the more interesting missions in the game that's a fact <laughs> you know so we'll see how all that goes yeah oh, we got a bounty over here too and we can rob a stagecoach ourselves too oh that's actually pretty nice i honestly did not even know we were uh that far away i don't think you got any idea hope there's not still a bounty on my head over here i don't think there is honestly i mean we killed all the grays so <laughs> there should be no one left. Just calm down, Hold on, what is this? What, are you doing? Come on, no, what is this guy doing? Not on my watch, brother. Get your hands off her. You brought your damn self to ruin. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh wow, he's got a knife, bro. Oh yeah, we are definitely whooping that ass. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't you ever whip out a knife on me, brother. 
Also, don't you ever put your hands on a woman. Not in my town, baby. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Now we just got to go back to camp. Bro, oh my goodness, man. I keep getting sidetracked, man. If you guys watched that last part, bro, there was like nothing but just complete randomness going on, you know? <laughs> I started the part out like going to do some main missions, and I think we did like one main mission, and that was it. The rest was just doing some side stuff and running into certain people, you know? <laughs> That's what I love about this game, though, man. That's what makes it, like, so different from every other game I've played. And I gotta be honest, like, I'm really not one to, like, do a lot of side missions when I play games. Because, to be honest with you, I find a lot of side content and everything like that to be, like, really boring. But, for some reason, this game is not like that at all. All the side content has been, like, really good so far. There we go. All right, we're back at camp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see if I can get some stew. And if I can't, bro, I'm going to be pissed. Like, I need to eat something in the worst way. I might actually hit up the uh, the medicine tent as well. And honestly, I think I might try to contribute some, uh, some money. I might try to upgrade my camp so I can right. finally unlock the fast travel feature, which I have not done yet. And we are like... 26 hours into this game <laughs> there we go let's replenish some of these cores and that's all it did bro all right we got the little medicine thing here let's see what this is what can we take exactly miracle tonic i'll take it some rum might as well take that i think i'm running low on pretty much everything in terms of, like, food and everything like that. Alright, now we're gonna go try to find the, uh... The ledger, bro. I have no idea. Where is the ledger at this camp? I have yet to see it at this camp, which is, uh... Not a good thing. That means I have not contributed hardly anything <laughs> since we moved in the Shady Bell. Hold on. Is it inside, I wonder? Wait a minute. That I like how we just leave the doors unlocked, you know? Even though we're being hunted by pretty much everybody. Let's just go ahead and leave the doors unlocked. Why not? Here we go. Give all debts. Oh, yeah, I forgot that we uh, we did get a debt as well. That was the, uh, the white cougar that we fought on the last part, man. That was actually pretty sick, I gotta admit. <laughs> all right, let's see what we can do here, though. How's it going? Somewhere between crappy and crap. Why, why, what in the world just happened, bro? Hold on just a minute. Let's see. We got medicine. We already. Okay. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go ahead and do that. Get some more medicine out there. I think I just took it, so we might as well. There we go. The quality and quantity of ammunition available at Audra's tent has increased. You can pay to resupply munitions when stocks are low. Hold on, lodging. There it was. Next in line, Arthur. 325. Oh my lord, bro. Let's do it. Your lodging has been upgraded. A fast travel map and additional grooming supplies are now available. You can now also fast travel from your personal camp. Okay. So that's like a camp that we can just uh, make while we're out there. It'd be great to have more room to hitch. Yeah, I guess that would be great. Let's do this chicken one. I don't know if that's like something we could eat. Or that would be actually really, really nice. Get a little chicken coop out there. Has been purchased. Increasing the quality of Pearson's stew. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, boys. All right. I think... That is it. I actually, oh, actually, honestly, I should probably contribute more money since I just took all of that. <laughs> all right, give money. Let's see. We're going to give a lot because I think we just spent like $300 on the camp there. So we're going to give a hefty amount back, you know? Why not? Maybe not that much. Okay, I went a little, I was a little ahead of myself there. Maybe not that much. But we should probably do maybe like, I'm thinking 
Let's see. We are. Hmm. We do have that stagecoach robbery available with Micah. I'm thinking I might do like 500 to contribute here. Uh, actually, maybe 400 would be better, honestly, because I don't know. I'm not really at the camp that much, and it seems like I'm the only one buying the upgrades for everybody. So maybe 400 is a better, better amount. We'll do 408 there. Helps our honor out, too, which is always good, boys. All right, where is my tent at? Let's see what I have in here. I got more ammunition, which is nice. I feel like I shouldn't have just uh, bought all the ammunition on the last part, but whatever there's the fast travel feature that's good all right i'm actually gonna get some uh get some sleep let's replenish our dead eye and everything like that if it'll let me sleep there we go let's just sleep to noon i guess let's replenish the dead eye because it has been red for quite a while now if i'm being completely honest <laughs> i have not done the best at keeping up with it All right, now we're all good. We're replenished. Everything is good and well. Let's see here. Let's see what we got downstairs. Do we want to do this? Oh, we got two stagecoach options now. Or is there? Hold on. I have unopened mail at the post office. Oh, that's nice. Let's see. We got a stagecoach option with Lenny. Let's see what this is all about. Rob a stagecoach. Why not, baby? I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? He knows who he wants I to go with. You. Now? That's right, brother. Let's go, baby. I don't need no... Hand holding off it. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> Honestly, right. I'd rather rob Let's a stagecoach with Lenny than Micah anyway, right so now. this actually works out. Maybe the Micah one will uh, reappear after we do this one. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind, if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. It's understandable. I like how Arthur, every mission Arthur goes on with somebody, he is like just so skeptical about everything, you know? He doesn't trust anybody's decision making. But, I mean, I guess it makes sense, honestly. I mean, they've all got us in some big trouble. <laughs> huh? My bad, Lenny. I didn't expect you to just cut me off right there, brother. What in the world are you doing, my guy? That wasn't cool at all, man.
All right, Lenny did say it wasn't going to be that big of a take, so already I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> you know, I mean, I just put four hundred dollars into the uh, the ledger there, so I was hoping to at least get hopefully like half of that back. But right now I'm kind of second guessing that. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen. No dialogue for Lenny either. This is weird. Usually these guys talk the whole time on the way over to where we're going. Okay, here we are. All right, let's see. I should probably get some better weapons out. Okay, we got the long arm Springfield. Hold on. Where is my... Ooh, the double barrel. No, I like the pump action shotgun, honestly. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. Yo, I gotta say, bro, I love my new horse. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. All right, I hope you're right about this, Lenny. I'm trusting you, brother. Where's this thing at? Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's coming. There it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my feet, okay? I said wait for my lead. Oh, this Lenny. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit. You oh, there is somebody in there. Oh my goodness, the marshals, bro. Okay. Yeah, we are. Uh... <laughs> we are just gonna go ahead and kill these guys, bro. Oh my lord in heaven, Lenny! What have you done, brother? Come on, baby. Reload, reload. Are you kidding me, brother? No chance. There we go. Bro, are there more of them? Who's this guy shooting at? Oh, there is one more of them. Okay. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh! Holy shit. You laugh? Yeah. Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. I don't think it was. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. <sighs> I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. You're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Oh, Lenny, bro. Come on, Lenny. I trusted you, brother. What in the world was that? <laughs> All right, we're actually going to go back to camp as well. Oh, I can't believe what just happened, bro. That is insane. Come on, Lenny. I thought you were better than that, buddy. I guess we could just follow him back to camp, I think, honestly. And then I really want to do this uh, this Sadly, Sadie Adler main mission, honestly. That one's been uh, catching my eye for a minute. I don't know where Lenny's going, bro. Camp's this way, buddy. Maybe he's taking a little detour. I found out in this game, like, as good as the waypoints are, it's actually quicker to, uh, not follow the waypoints because they only put you in, like, trails and everything like that, you know? And they make you, like, go around everything, which is kind of odd, to be honest. All right, another stagecoach just popped up over there as well, so... <laughs> I'm guessing that's probably going to be the Micah one. But since we did the Lenny one, we'll save the Michael one for later. 
Let us go find uh, Sadie Adler. Where is she at? Got to be somewhere in here. I don't know if she's inside the house. Oh, there she is. Nice. Here we go, boys. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or this will boil Bro, what in the world just happened, brother? Oh my lord. Bro, that was Kieran? My man had his whole head decapitated, bro. There's no way. Oh my goodness. Okay. Who in the world are these guys, bro? I have no idea who these guys are. I don't think this is Agent Milton and his guys, honestly. Get to the front door. You've got to be kidding me, brother. At a time like this, I should be up here shooting these dudes. Damn trap. Como, damn Driscoll. Oh, it's Como Driscoll? Oh, boy. We got to get our revenge. Hold on a minute, boys. You tell Mr. Pearson. Let's see. Where can I get a vantage point to shoot these guys? Oh, now I gotta go to the back, bro? You gotta be kidding me with this. Here we go, boys. Here we go, baby. The Wild West out here, bro. What are they wearing? Why do they have masks on? Oh, come on. Dude, my R1 button wasn't working for some reason. I have no idea what's happening. That's twice now that that's happened. Come on, baby. Yeah, it, like, won't work, bro. That is so weird. I don't know what's going on. Oh, shit, bro. This is not good. Retreat back to the mansion. Oh, my goodness. Push the cabinet. I guess it's this one he's talking about or is he talking about a different one there we go come on arthur get in get it come on baby we got this good now everyone i got this get these windows covered quickly john you take the windows over there charles you take the side door there arthur you take the windows in the back go <laughs> bro this is insane right now I always... is everyone accounted for i think hey I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. Come on, boys. We got this. Oh, look at that. Bro, I'm so confused as to why they're wearing, like, masks. That's, like, honestly so weird. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Adler, what are you doing out there? Bro, we got to save her, bro. I love Sadie, bro. We got to save her. Oh my lord in heaven, bro. This lady is insane. Why didn't you 
get inside. <laughs> and miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now Bro, this lady back. is nuts. We I love it, though. Hold on, we're getting out the dual wield, boys. Get some of that, baby. There we go, baby. Alright, hold on. We need some of this. Let's get some of this. Refuel that dead eye a little bit. Yeah, I know, Sadie, but if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be out here. I hope you know that. Nice thank you would be nice, you know? Instead of yelling at me. <laughs> oh, I love this girl, bro. She fits right in with us. I gotta be honest. I kind of wish uh, Arthur was uh, was with her, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Seems like a match made in heaven. Bro, how many are there, my guy? Bro, they really thought they were going to get us, too. Look at that. They thought they were slick. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near? Bro, that near, is bad. Not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Damn, bro. That was like completely unexpected, man. <laughs> I thought we were going to do a mission with Sadie. I did not expect to get life, ambushed. I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. That she did. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Bro, that was absolutely bonkers, man. Hold on, let's see if we can read these journal entries real quick. Let's see, that was from the last part, I believe. This is also from the last part, but let's just go ahead and read them, why not? Met a monk, helped him free a couple of poor bastards from the island someplace who were kept prisoner. The monk, what was his name, Brother Something or Other, was a good fellow. One of those innocent people who make you feel better about human beings and even yourself a little. Must be odd to see all that goodness in the world. Place always seemed dark and brutal to me. That was Brother Dorkins. Met a real oh. pair of, well, I don't know quite what they it's were. Names were so ridiculous, I won't even begin to try to remember them. But they were Greek or Latin or gibberish, pair of twins, dead keen on insulting each other and hitting each other to impress a woman. I've done lots of stupid things to impress women, but this was ridiculous. I ended up being William Tell. I think they was college boys. Guess education ain't always the answer to mankind's problems. Nice enough boys, but odd as hell. Those were the, uh, the guys we were shooting the bottles off their head, bro. <laughs> Those guys were absolutely insane. Yep, there's a nice little picture of him. Look at Arthur, bro. This guy is an artiste, you know? And then there's the cougar. Oh, boy. All right, I guess that's it. Nice. Horseman Apocalypse or something like that. All right, so Dutch. I'm guessing Dutch's mission might be like one of the last in Chapter 4. I kind of have that suspicion. So what I'm actually going to do, 
I'm going to go check out to see if I can use this uh, fast travel feature because I really want to do this uh, Jim Boy Callaway mission. And I did realize while editing the last part, I kept calling him Callahan. <laughs> I don't know why, boys. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can use this fast travel feature and travel somewhere near where, uh, where Jim Boy is because now kind of feels like the time to do all of these side missions. Here we are. Another day. Another day. That is right. Fast travel. Let's see. I've never really done this, so. Hold on. Oh, we can actually take some of these. Yeah, let's actually take some bullets. We probably wasted so many right there. All right, now let's see if we can fast travel. I don't know if it lets you, like, fast travel anywhere or... I know they're in Ansburg. The I believe that's what I saw last time I looked at the map. That's where uh, Jim Boy's guy is. I think we're looking for, like, his cousin or something like that. And then hopefully after that, we can finally get this thing wrapped up, bro. It feels like I've been doing this uh, Jim Boy Callaway mission forever, man. <laughs> That's the fast travel feature. It just shows Arthur riding his horse all the way down there. That's actually pretty legit. <laughs> very, uh, very cinematic, you know? I'm down with it. Bro, honestly, I don't even know that I've ever... Have I been here before? This looks kind of new. Okay, but this mission is right here. Where is this guy at? Hold on, let's get off the horse. He seems to be like he's in this building. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Locate Slim Grant at the outlaw camp. Okay. Yep. Yeah, bro, I really don't think I've ever been here. This is actually kind of strange. All right, let's see. He's somewhere. I wonder if I can go all the way up here. Looks like he's somewhere over here to the left. Probably going to be uh, quite the ride if I had to guess, honestly. Can I go under here? Oh, look at that, boys. That was smooth as hell, baby. And that was not... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so sorry, horse. All right, where is this guy actually at? Hold on, maybe we should place a, a waypoint on him, you know? Maybe that'd be the best way. <laughs> oh my lord in heaven, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up those rocks there. Oh, definitely not. Okay. Bro, I have fell off my horse while riding it so many times in this playthrough. It is, uh, it's quite embarrassing, but honestly, what can you do, you know? <laughs> you hit anything, and this man just goes flying off. It's actually a, a pretty cool mechanic in the game, I think, you know? It kind of forces you to be a little more safe and look where you're going, actually. Which, uh, I don't mind. And also, it's hilarious every time it happens. I feel like it's happened to me uh, more times than most people, though. I mean, if it happened to you a lot, definitely let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to tell Slim Grant that uh, they're all hoping that he died. <laughs> you know? 
I imagine he wouldn't uh, take very well to that information. Alright, he should be somewhere over here. Is he captured, bro? Bro, he is. That's him on the tree there. All right, let's do it. Sorry, boys. Sorry, boys. Nothing personal, you know? <laughs> That's what I do, brother. That's what I do. Slim Grant. <sighs> Go ahead and cut him free. Okay. Let's well, he would have died if it wasn't yes. for us. I'm pretty uh, confident in saying Indeed, that. Indeed, son. <laughs> uh, uh. All right. Deliver Slim Grant to the drop-off point. Do I just stow him How on my favor, horse? Mr. Grant? It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You... Now. I was saying, might as well relax. This is real <laughs> peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you going to tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Bro, this is a cool little place, bro. Why have I never Son, been here? What the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. Taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? This is it. Down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah. Well, what kind of horse was that? Yeah, don't tell me these guys are down below. Oh, no! No, 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 no! No! Oh! Oh, my lord. That was so close, boys. All right, where are these guys at before I end up killing myself, dude? All right, here they are. Oh, my goodness, bro. <laughs> I thought I was a goner for sure. Bro, I'm really interested in what kind of horse that was, honestly. Just hanging out out here. <laughs> so you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Well, that settles that then. I shot him in the back. That's one way to do it. I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw. Why? I said draw, goddammit! Oh, boy. No. Yes! You don't want these problems, buddy. You don't want these problems. Oh, fuck. I didn't expect him to be that quick. Oh, my Lord. There we go. We got it that time, boys. I really didn't want to do that, Shit. Calloway. Shit, indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Huh? No, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. 
I'm free! I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one! Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. <sighs> I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. <laughs> Bro, look at that waterfall, boys. Oh, my lord. All right, well, at least we got that done with. Can we actually take his gun, too? What kind of gun does this guy have? Hold on a minute. We got to collect this thing. I don't want to drop my... No, bro. I don't want to... Ooh. Yeah, no. I don't care how good his gun is, bro. I am not dropping my guns. Not a yep. chance, brother. All right. So, let's see. Let's look at the map here. We are all the way out here, boys. It is going to take us a minute and a half to uh, get back to where we need to be, honestly. So we got Dutch here. We also got, uh, I believe this is the uh, the artist guy. And then we got Brother Dorkins as well. We got Strauss as well. But as I said, I think that's just going to be more like debtors and everything like that. I'm not real sure I'm uh, I'm into that right now, honestly. We do have a, uh, a post office here. I wonder if I go to this post office, will they still yep. give me my mail? Or is it in like... My mail in like a specific post office. I'm not real sure because it said I had unopened mail. I'm gonna go and go check it out real quick. We'll see what's over there. If it happens to be nothing, then that'll kind of suck. But since we're here and this post office is close, we might as well uh, we might as well go check. Maybe it showed me or told me in the uh, description on the upper left, but I didn't really read it, so. I'm hoping that I can just go to any post office because that would be really legit. And I think that's probably how we'll end this part. And then when we come back on the next part, we'll do some of the side stuff that we have to do before jumping in with whatever Dutch has. Because I just have a feeling that his mission with everything that just went down with Kieran and Fomo Driscoll, I have a feeling that Dutch's mission might be... The last one before this chapter ends, which I don't want to end it before I can go talk to those guys. Look out. Excuse me, sir. Sorry. We are on a mission here to collect some mail, brother. Yeah, I don't know why the game hasn't taken me to this part yet, bro. Like, is this part going to be... Well, don't spoil it. But it's like, is this part going to be like in the game later on? I find it kind of odd that it, uh, then why are you hell on me? that it wasn't here before or that you I've never, never seen it before. Like talking to a goddamn wall. All right. You have unopened mail at parcels. You can pick them up at the post office. Okay. So it should kind of be here. I'm thinking. Howdy there. Welcome. Receive mail. There we go. Invitation from Mayor Lemieux. I believe that's his name. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Can we inspect this document real quick, actually? Now that I got it. Where did it go? Handbills. Letters. Hold on. Where is this thing at? Photographs. Treasure map. Cigarette cards. Notes. Let's see, is it this thing? No, that's not it. Here we go. Invitation. Sure as heck hope it shows up soon. May 1899. Monsieur Kilgore, it was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. 
Now I have spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly. <laughs> but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my cold, old world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at last. Come to the back well, of mayoral residence deserve. any night you wish. Knock on the door and my assistant, Jean Mark, will let you in. I hope to see you new, your newest friend, Henry Lemieux. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but whatever. <laughs> Henry Lemieux, whatever it is. Pepe Le Pew, Henry Lemieux, who knows. But uh, maybe we'll check that out on the next part. I kind of wonder since, like, if this part does come up later on in the game, if Ansberg does, then it's kind of cool how, like, the side missions are spread out. I feel like I've kind of been doing them wrong, you know? Like, I feel like you're supposed to do them when you get close to them, and I've kind of just been going out of my way to try to finish them. So if this does come up, like, later on in the game, or maybe this is where we'll move on the next chapter or whatever, then I probably should have saved the, uh, the Jim Boy Calloway <laughs> until we did that, but... Whatever, you know, it is what it is. We're just trying to get everything done, everything possible done. But like I said, boys, that'll do it for this part. Another fantastic part in Red Dead Redemption 2. I can't tell you guys enough how much I am loving this game. I hope you guys are loving the playthrough as well. If you are, don't forget to hop down, hit that like button, comment some more uh, tips and tricks and everything like that but uh, as always guys i hope to see you guys on the next one and until next time stay safe out there